Okay, what we have here is our, our Rotax twin cylinder uh, motorcycle engine. And uh, here we have the, uh, the, the twin hydrogen injectors. So the hydrogen is actually fed into these injectors very, in much the same manner as fuel is, is fed into a, a standard fuel injected engine. Um, as you can see, we run a, a, a chain drive through a, a differential at the back here. So a lot of the, the the, the, the technologies are very similar to what you find in your, in your standard vehicle. We've got a, a car, uh, differential, you know, drive shafts, etc. Et this here is our um, hydrogen storage tank. Now this tank here stores approximately one kilogram of hydrogen, which is, uh, has a similar energy level to about three to four litres of petrol. Um, the hydrogen, hydrogen is a very sparse gas, and so we need to compress it significantly to get a, a, a good amount of energy into a confined space. This particular tank is pressurised to 200 bar, which is 200 times atmospheric pressure. Now the hydrogen comes out of the tank at this end and then runs through a series of pressure reducers and check valves um, to reduce the pressure of the hydrogen. By the time the hydrogen reaches the engine, it's at about five times atmospheric pressure. On the way, we have a number of, uh, of safety valves such that if there is anything unfortunate that happens, if the um, you know, if for instance there's, there's an accident and some of the valves or the, the, uh, the piping becomes dislodged, there's uh, automatic safety shut off such that the, the hydrogen is actually shut off at the tank and this reduces the, uh, the danger of, of any, any explosion. <coughs>